Hello everybody and welcome to my updated shaders tutorial for 2016. Uh, as you would expect, this is an updated version of the tutorial I did for installing shaders mod for Minecraft, which was actually made nearly nearly a year ago now. So I thought I'd just make an updated version because some things have changed and improved and whatnot. So we're going to be doing that. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft game. And once that is done, you're going to want to go to edit profile and under used version, make sure that's on release 1.9 and not 1.9.1 or 1.9.2 because currently this doesn't work with 0.1 and 0.2 um, but to be honest you should be fine with just regular 1.9 you can still connect to your servers and stuff it just means that you won't have all the bug fixes and stuff that are coming with release 1.9.1 and 1.9.2 but honestly I haven't found much of a difference so just go with release 1.9 and you should be fine so once you've done that you're going to want to press save profile and then click play, it'll download it and everything in case you haven't already done that. And then once that is done, you want to make sure you can get to the main menu. And once you've done that, you'll just want to quit. And then we can close the launcher. So the next thing we're going to do is install Forge, which will be linked in the description along with the other two files that we will be needing for this tutorial. So you're going to want to double click on the Forge installer in your downloads folder or desktop or wherever you put it. You're going to want to make sure it's on install client and that your Minecraft folder is correct, which should happen automatically. You're going to press OK. It's going to do stuff, download some things. Um, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again, but it should be pretty easy. And once we've done that, we're going to reopen Minecraft again. And you should see now after you've installed Forge that there is a Forge profile right here. So after you've done that, you're going to want to press play. It'll sort some things out, configure some files, whatever it's doing. And if you start to see this screen, then that pretty much means Forge has installed correctly and we can move on. So after you've gotten to the main screen, you just want to go quit game once again and we can install the next file. So for this, we're going to actually be installing a Optifine slash shaders mod all in one kind of thing. So uh, Optifine now has started to support shaders um, natively, so you no longer need to install Optifine and Shaders separately. So what we're going to do for this is go into our Minecraft folder, not that one. Uh, you're going to want to go to your start menu, do the percentage app data percentage thing, do the top file roaming, go to dot Minecraft, and then we can see a mods folder and a shaders pack folder. Or actually, no, you probably won't see shaders pack. Yeah, but you'll see the mods folder. So once you're in the mods folder, you want to drag and drop the uh, Optifine file into there or copy and paste it, whichever you prefer. And then Optifine should be installed. So once we've done that, we can once again open up Minecraft to make sure that it's worked. Uh, just use the Forge profile, click play. So once this is done loading, you're going to want to go to the options menu to make sure it installed correctly. And if you click video settings and see all of this and the Optifine uh, version number at the bottom left, then you have successfully installed Optifine. So the very last thing we have to do is install a shaders pack. You can use whichever one you want. Um, I'm just going to link the Mr. Meep shaders one in the description because I think it's a good pack to start off with. So we're going to close Minecraft again, open up the Minecraft folder, go back to dot Minecraft and in the shaders pack folder, you're going to want to drag the uh, shaders pack zip file do not unzip it before putting it in here. That's a mistake lots of people tend to make. Just take the zip file straight from your downloads folder, wherever you got it from, and drag it straight into the shader packs folder. And with that, we should be pretty much done. So we can reopen Minecraft one more time. Click play. So we're gonna go single player, gonna load up my test world. Okay, so we can see here we have Optifine, but no shaders are currently selected. So I'm gonna first make this full screen. Go to the options menu video settings and then you should see a shaders tab right here you're going to want to press this and you should be able to see the shaders pack that you installed so you're going to press that it'll probably take a while uh, for most people's computers and once you press done a few times back to game you will see your shaders have hopefully been successfully installed so you can see here everything looks much much better with the shaders pack um, it really improves the game like quite a lot and of course it should run better than it did in uh, or if you followed the 1.8 shaders tutorial that I did uh, because with this you actually have Optifine as well as the shaders in an all-in-one kind of package so it should run fairly well like it is for me I'm getting pretty much a constant 60 frames per second on just about max settings and just to prove to you guys that it works on servers I'm gonna go to multiplayer allow the access and I'm gonna find a server to connect to. All right, we're gonna to go to Mineplex, join the server. 
And as you can see, I'm currently on the Mineplex UF server and we have our shaders. And of course, because we have Optifine, we can do things like press C to zoom in, which can kind of give you a bit of an edge in uh, game modes like Hunger Games or Survival Games, things like that, PvP things, which is quite a useful thing to have. And you can see the trees are even moving. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. As you can see, it's very simple. Um, if this helped you out, please give the video a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more. If you need some help, leave a comment. I'll probably be responding to most of the comments on this video. And I think that's just about all I have to say. So thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.